Sandy by Alex G. We're going to play it. We're going to learn the notes. We're going to learn the chords. We're going to learn the stuff. We're going to learn the tuning. It's a beautiful fall day. It feels kind of hot. And I'm tired. And I don't know what the song is about. So let's play it. It's a weird tuning. We're not in standard tuning for this one. The low E string is tuned to a D. So do you know how to tune that to D? You got a tuner, you use a drop D tuning trick, whatever, I don't care. But turn that string, loosen it until it turns into a D. The next string is just gonna be an A, normal A. That's what it always is. The next one is just gonna be a normal D, just like always. That next one, that fourth one from the top, that's gonna be an F sharp. It's usually a G, we're gonna tune it da down a half step to an F sharp or G flat, same thing. The next one's gonna be B, which is normal, and then E, which is normal. Again, that was D, A, D, F sharp, B, E. Now here's a little tip. Even though we only changed two of the strings, you still wanna, after you make the adjustments, go through and tune all the strings again, because when you change the tension on one string, it can make the other strings go out of tune, believe it or not. Do you think I'm still in tune? I'm pretty much in tune. I don't know what you call this tuning. It's sort of, no, it's just some unique tuning that Alex G probably made up, and it's a good one. Next, we have to learn the picking pattern. He does this picking pattern throughout almost the entire song, so we have to get really honking good at it. So let's practice that first. We're gonna use a pick. At first listen, it might sound like it's a finger picking song. You could probably play, it, play a finger picking, but we're gonna use a pick because Alex G uses a pick and I'm using a pick. Starts off, no fingers on the left hand. Just, the, just open strings and that's it. Play the E string, then play the second string from the top, then play the third string from the top, then play the fourth string from the top, but when you play the fourth string from the top, make sure you pluck up. So we're gonna be plucking down, 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 up. I feel like that string is a little out of tune. Let's do a little recon. Oh, it's perfectly in tune. I've lost my mind. So we're going down, 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 up. Got it? Then you go back up to the top string, pluck down, then play the third string from the top, the D string, plucking, up. So that is the picking pattern for all of the verse to the song. We're going down, 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 up, down, up. Top, second from the top, third from the top, fourth from the top, top, third from the top. Let me give you one close up view because like I said, we're gonna do this a lot. We're gonna play this picking pattern constantly. So you have to learn it. Look, 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 look. Oh, you can see my computer screen that's so tacky let me just turn the brightness down there all right so look at this we're going boom 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 what i like to do let me just turn this back up a little so i can see a little got a lot of technical things i have to figure out in this in this office space right here <sighs> how old is this song you think do you think it's nine years old Eight years old. Now you can see this big ring, this big light. My lighting situation. Need to get some new lights. All right, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Let's do it a little slower. It's in six eight time, by the way. That's why I'm counting to six. That's the the pulse of the song is one two three four five six. One two three four five six. How about four times in a row? One two three. Nice and slow. One two three four five six. One two three four five six. One two. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's learn the second chord. That one, we're just, that's like a D chord, but it's in a weird tuning, so it's a weird way of playing it. You're gonna play that once, and immediately you're gonna play the second fret on the A string, 
and do the exact same picking pattern. So that's the, the, the top string is still exactly the same. Just do the second fret on the second string from the top and do the exact same picking pattern one time. Isn't that beautiful? So here's what he does for the intro of the song. He does it once with all the open strings. Then once with that second fret. He does that all the way through four times. I won't do it all the way through four times right now. I don't have that time. type of time. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Pam? That's the intro. You do that four times. Then we get to the verse. That's the verse. You'll know it's the verse because that's when you start singing. You're going to do the open strings one more time. Then you're going to do the second fret. Then we're gonna keep the picking exactly the same, but you're gonna go up to the seventh fret. Do seventh fret on the top string and seventh fret on the second string from the top. When Alex G plays this, he uses his pointer finger up here and his middle finger right there. You might see me, sometimes I'll use my middle two fingers like that, but he uses those two, so that's what I'm gonna to try to do as well, so that I can be just like Alex G. So we've got seventh fret, seventh fret, then the rest are open, do the same picking. Then you're gonna go to, I think the fourth fret. Yeah, wait, is that it? I think it was the fourth fret. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we did it with the seventh fret on the top two strings. Then we do it once with the fourth fret on the top two strings. So it's seventh fret, fourth fret. How are we feeling about this? Then you're gonna go all the way up to the ninth fret on the top two strings, do the same picking pattern. Then to the fifth fret, do the same picking pattern. Then second fret on the top two strings, same picking pattern. Back to five, same picking pattern. So not too hard to play, right? This is gonna be a fun song to play, but how are we supposed to remember all of these frets? Well, practice makes perfect, my dear boy. We've got open, second fret, up to seven and seven, then four and four, then nine, then five, then two, then five. That's the, that's the first part. Hear what now? You uh, is uh, if if you're playing this, it doesn't sound right. Couple things should be happening. Double check your tuning. Make sure you, that, that string's tuned down to D. Make sure this one's tuned down to F sharp, like I already said. Don't know why I wasted our time by saying that again. The other thing that you wanna watch out for is when you're sliding from spot to spot, like you're gonna have a little bit of that string noise no matter what. It's unavoidable. It's unavoidable. You're just gonna have some of that one way or another. But, but what can help a little bit to prevent too much so cold I'm so cold, but my sweatshirt doesn't work. Why can't I ever make zippers work? I can't make the zipper. Oh, I did it. There we go. Oh, so cold in here. Okay. What was I saying? <laughs> um, um, when you're when you're going from fret to fret, if you if you keep both fingers against the string, you're gonna have a lot of noise. What I like to do is my pointer finger kind of comes off the string a little bit, but I keep my middle finger on the A string as my guide for so I don't. If I lift up all my fingers, I have to make my way all the way back to the string. But if I just kind of see that there, my pointer finger does this little hop. It's like my pointer finger comes off and my middle finger just glides along to take me to the next fret. Ah, let me give you a couple of so hot. Are you crazy? A couple little things that might help you out. Also, when you're sliding around, this song uses like the whole neck of the guitar. Don't watch your fingers as they slide around. Just always look at whatever the next fret you want to go to is. So when you're over here at the beginning, and you wanna go, next we're gonna to go to seven, just stare at seven and bring your fingers into your vision like that, vision, WandaVision. Scarlet Witch, Marvel, Marvel MCU. Word association, very important part of guitar lessons. Then 
I'm going to four next, so I'm just staring at the fourth fret. Boom, go to the fourth fret. Now, one place that my eyes are never, never looking is over here at my right hand. If you have to look at your right hand to get the picking right, you're screwed. You're screwed. If your vision is, one of vision. If you are staring at over here, trying to get everything right, like at first, at first you might have to do it just to learn the pattern. But once you know the pattern, you want it to all be just by sense of feel and sound. Your vision is just gonna get in the way. If you, your eyes are just adding an extra step. So try, once, once you know the pattern, try not to look at your right hand at all. Did I say left hand? I don't know the difference between left and right. Are we still learning a song or am I just saying random things about looking at vision and the Scarlet Witch? All right, so, and we get to the, the I wanna go home part or whatever, prettiest thing. He sings a bunch of different things there. Uh, where do we, we left off on the five. We were on five and five. Then we're gonna go all the way up to 12 and 12. We're gonna do 12 but do the exact same picking pattern. I think I'm a little bit out of tune. I'm just gonna live with it for now. We go 12, then nine, back to 12, back to nine, back to 12. We do the 12 to nine quattro times. That's Spanish for four. I'm surprised you didn't know that. So here's, here's what we just, we, we are getting to the big muse, the instrumental interlude part, but let's just quickly review what we've done. Intro. You do that four times. Then the verse, we do that once, then seven, then four, then nine, then five, then two, then five, then 12, nine, 12, nine, 12, nine, 12, Nine. Now we're gonna take a little break while I retune my guitar. Uh, you're gonna think about what you've done. I am going to get a sip of water and then we're going to learn the big strummy part of the song. Does that sound like a plan? See you soon. This part here. Fun to play, you gotta use your thumb, you gotta do all kinds of stuff. Start off with a D. With a D, but you're gonna get rid of your pointer finger. So now we're like this, do you see this? Beautiful, you play all the strings. You, as some of you out there in guitar land might know, wait a minute, when I think of a D chord, I think I gotta make sure I don't play that low E string. Well, guess what? We don't even have a low E string right now because we tuned our low E string down to D. So we have a low D string. So you can play that top string all you want. Start off with that D chord, get rid of the pointer finger. You're gonna strum once, just hitting the top few strings like that. Beautiful, great job, I love it. I always knew you could do it. Then you're gonna strum down up. So we've got top strings, then down up, right in a row like this. Got it? I say got it too much. Gotcha. Top strings down up. Then, and only then, you're gonna bring your ring finger up to the seventh fret of the high E string. Put your pointer finger on the fifth fret of the B string. So we've got like this little power chord, but it's down on the high two strings. You see that? You see that right there? We're on seven and five. You are going to strum up, down on that chord and you play every single string on the guitar. So now we've got down, down, up, up, down. Then you're gonna take the same little weird power chord, you're gonna move it back one, two frets. So now you're on the fifth fret on the high E string and the third fret on the B string on that chord strum down, up. So now we've got down, down, up, up, down, down, up. Oh boy, and those directions, the downs and the ups, they are crucial to your success. Let's play just those three little chords. One made of brick, one made of straw, and one made of wood. Three little pigs, word association, told you. Very important part. And this time I, 
I just said three little, and it made me think of the three little pigs, and then I put my sunglasses on, and let's play this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up. One, two, three, do it again. Down, down, up. I played the wrong chord. One, two, three, here we go. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up. Here's the mother of all chords in this song. Bring your ring finger all the way up to the ninth fret on the high E string. This is the part that some of you are going to hate. Bring your thumb up over the top you're not just gonna play the ninth fret with your thumb on the E string, you're gonna play the ninth fret on the E string and the A string. See, I'm curling my thumb all the way around to push on both of those top two strings. And there's the chord. If your guitar has a super wide neck, you have the teeniest, tiniest little hands, or there's some other reason that you personally don't feel like it would be a smart decision to do this, maybe an allergy of some kind, you may, you may use two fingers up here and use a finger down here. You can do that if you want, but I'm gonna do it like this because that's the cool kid way to do it. And I recommend you at least give it a try. When we get to this chord, you're gonna strum up, down. Okay, let's do it. So it's I was kind of sloppy because I was thinking too much about it. So it uh, and then I have to figure out what comes next because I've lost my bearings. Has anyone seen my bearings? After you do up, down, then you're gonna strum, I lost it again. You're gonna strum down, up, down, up, and then down. This is so confusing. Down, up, down, up, down. Down, up, down, up, down. Final answer, I'm sticking to it. Down, up, down, up, down. So you go up, down, down, up, down, up, down. Yeah, that's it. I knew it all along that I was doing it right. We go, when we get to this chord, we go up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, back to the beginning. So that was up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, open strings. Up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, beginning. that whole part. Does that make any sense at all? Does it make the tiniest little bit of sense? Did you know that I have a guitar? Finally the ending. The ending to the song, because we go back and we do the verse again, right? You knew that. We do the verse again, then the ending as he plays that whole interlude part we just did again. He does it a couple times. Then, after he strums that ninth fret a bunch of times, then you go to the fifth fret. That was down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. That's, I'm just gonna leave it to that. Then you go to the second fret, do the same rhythm. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down, I say you go to the fifth fret and the seventh fret with that same shape we were doing on the ninth fret. So your thumb plays the top two strings, your ring finger plays the bottomest string on the same fret. Then you strum the top couple strings open, and then you go to that same D without the pointer finger, and you strum all the strings, and then you've done it. You've successfully played the song Sandy by Alex G. And then you get to go home and sit on your bed and play the song and maybe have a fasuda. And the sun is out, or maybe it's not. And then the video ends.